Why didn't I have good mental images? Part of a series learning to thrive with dyslexia and or ADHD. A success story. Do you ever wonder why you haven't got good mental images? When I first started exploring mental imagery, I didn't think I could either. But then I realised that most people had good or exceptional images. So what had happened to mine? Sometime later, I remembered having nightmares when I was younger and very unpleasant images from time to time when awake. I didn't like them and magically they disappeared. So I never had any stable images to use for word recognition or remembering what I read. This is why my school report at 16 said, Olive is hampered by atrocious spelling. It really would be helpful if she could learn to spell. I had been in the same school since I was four, so clearly whatever they were doing wasn't working. When I discovered mental imagery was needed for word recognition, I set about retraining myself to picture images, initially of objects and then of words. Due to brain plasticity, it is never too late to learn a new skill. I have realised that I am naturally a highly visual thinker and learner, with a lot of dyslexic and ADHD strengths, namely the ability to see things from different perspectives, a sort of jigsaw puzzle brain for problem solving and hyper focus on things that really interest me. Lots of picture thinking, creativity, imagination and ideas generation, drive and energy, compassion. So there's lots of good stuff. So reintroducing myself to mental imagery has given me these invaluable skills and the ability to spell, read and have those other literacy skills I missed out on the first time around. To finish my month of success stories for clients, I am relaying my own success stories to complete the month. And I'm sure you will see how valuable reinstating my visual skills have been. I'm Olive Hickmott, a forensic health and learning coach and author. To find out more information, do look at other videos on my YouTube channel, or go to empoweringlearning.co.uk. Thank you for listening.